This is episode 56 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. The Accidental Stoic, Part 2, Overcome Adversity. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. Marcus Aurelius. Life is reactions. How you react to any and every situation will determine your place in life. Nothing can beat you if you don't let it. The only way to lose is to give up or give in. That one is all me, baby. Raise your hand if you have had some diversity in your life. Okay, good. That's just about everyone. The person who didn't raise their hand wasn't listening. On their phone, of course. So now that we know we are all on the same page, let's get right into this. I would bet that you are where you are in life because you encountered a few obstacles along your journey. Did you go through them? Over them? Under them? Or did you turn around because the obstacle was too big? Or at least you thought it was too big? I believe the variable that determines success and failure is the ability to handle adversity, to overcome obstacles. The funny thing about obstacles is no matter what they are, they all feel huge. You're lost. You feel out of control. You question everything that got you into that situation. You're scrambling for answers, solutions, anything. Then you either fight or flight. What's amazing is no matter what obstacle you have faced in your life, you're here today reading this article by a guy who's also still here after facing his obstacles. We did it. Golf clap. If we learned from those situations, those obstacles, that adversity, we are better now because of them. In some cases, a lot. I'm 10 times the person I was before going to prison. When I walk around now, I feel like an effing machine. Unstoppable. Why? Because I have already been through something unbelievably traumatic. Or maybe it's believable. My own complete failure and the consequences of it. I broke my own heart into pieces and I will never let that happen again. I am constantly conditioning myself through work, nutrition, and physical activity to crush today and annihilate tomorrow. I don't even see obstacles anymore. Why? Because I have lived through my career being destroyed, my mistake being plastered everywhere, total and utter embarrassment, having to live with my mistakes and look at my wife and daughter every day, reminding me of what a sack of shit I was, and oh yeah, the hell of San Quentin. Are there a lot of people in worse situations? Hell yes. A lot in better situations? Hell yes. But they were my obstacles, and all of us are stronger on the other side, no matter what we dealt with. Once you know that you can get through something, you know that you can get through anything. The skill is getting into attack mode as soon as that obstacle surfaces. Don't waste any time crying or complaining. You can't wash away an obstacle with your tears. You can't complain your way through a wall. You hit it and you hit it hard. The faster you get into that mode, the better. Stoic philosophy stresses putting yourself into situations where you are scared insecure, uncomfortable, or taking the hard way and using those to show you what you can get through. This practice allows you to recognize your strengths, 
so you can see firsthand your capabilities, which are enormous. Humans are amazing. You're amazing. Give yourself the chance to show you that you can do it. The more obstacles you overcome, the more confident you will be in yourself to attack the next one, get past it, and move on. I know we have all learned something from our mistakes, something from the adversities we have faced. I'm realistic enough to know that there are people who don't seem to learn shit about shit, but they probably aren't reading this anyways. Why would they? They either blame someone else or run away, most likely saying they didn't really care anyways. I'm calling bullshit. I think you did care. You're just a pussy. If you put the fault of your situation on anyone but you, you will consistently find yourself losing. Some adversity will be individual issues, some societal. Who cares where the adversity comes from? You still need to get past it. Don't change the system. Change yourself. Take the power. Don't hand it over in defeat. Stop being a pussy and fight. The job market? Just an obstacle. Figure it out. Learn more. Strategize. What are your strengths? Build on those. Monetize your skill set. Racism? It's been around for a million years. Figure it out. If you're black or Latino, you will face racism. Your grandparents did, and so did their grandparents, and it was much worse. You should be able to handle something you expect to happen in some capacity anyways. Focus on being great at what you do, and it will work out. Choose victor, not victim. No money? Learn, practice, outthink it, figure it out. Some of the greatest companies started with jack shit. If anyone can make it with no money, everyone can make it with no money. Get your big boy pants on and stop making excuses. Ex-con? Hard time finding people to believe in you? Stop being a bitch and rewrite the narrative. Outthink it. Outwork it. Focus on the long game. Figure it out. There are 400 million people that speak English in the world. Who gives a shit if a handful of people don't like you or won't give you a chance? 400 million. On kind of a side note, you ever hear people describe a situation as ruining our lives? Don't get me wrong. There are some totally effed up situations, car accidents, murders, etc. But there are so many people that apply that same description to something small and blame it for whatever situation they're in. Those people are called losers. Learn to recognize them and stay away, unless you are one. Then fix it. Every obstacle is an opportunity to make yourself better. Every damn one. They make you smarter, stronger, more resilient. But you have to let them, and you have to recognize them as such. The goal of practicing difficulty and adversity is to eliminate the idea of obstacles altogether. What if you encountered an obstacle and didn't even see it? You just pivoted and overcame it. Walking through walls, bullets bouncing off your chest, become Superman or or Superwoman, or super whatever you identify as. You don't need the blue tights and the cape, unless you're into that thing. You just need your heart, your mind, and your guts. You have been through a lot in your life. Guess what? You are going to be going through a lot more before this wonderful journey is over with. Be prepared. Be teachable. Be bulletproof. Let people look at you crazy as you maneuver as if nothing's wrong. You can walk by the problem as if you didn't even see it because you shouldn't see it. It's just an opportunity for greatness, for learning. Show them how to do it. That can be you. Either take your past and use it as fuel or start making yourself uncomfortable. Start showing yourself you can do things you never thought possible. You have no idea what you're capable of. I consistently made it over obstacles I never thought I would see the other side of, and it started changing me. How in the hell am I going to make it through prison? I am not the toughest guy, just being honest. 
I was terrified waiting in county, waiting for my ticket up. And to be honest, I wasn't scared about prison before the sentencing, only because everybody and their mom said there was no way I would get prison time, most likely house arrest. Uh, They were massively wrong, obviously, but I'm better because of it. I made that obstacle my bitch. I was scared every single day I was in San Quentin. Every day. Somewhere in the back of my mind, 24-7, I was devastated and I hated myself. Every single day for, well, I'm kind of still working on that part. It's actually my fuel to work harder, train harder, learn more, push myself to the limits, and make sure that failure is temporary. I'm focused on the long game. The conditioning of my adversities has allowed me to be unstoppable. If I can get over that, if I can get through that, there is nothing that can stop me. And nothing can stop you either. Every obstacle is an opportunity. It all comes together and works together for today and tomorrow. My past taught me accidental stoic lesson number two. Overcome adversity. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black hands go, go.